In this little video, I want to show you how I built an electric reverse for my R1 powered Lotus 7 type roadster. Electric reverse is nothing new, but most of the installations that I looked at were for fixed rear differential, as you can see in those two pictures. I needed to use a live rear axle to get the gearing correct for my R1. I used a two piece drive shaft from a 1992 Ford Ranger Super Cab where the front portion of the shaft is supported by a support bearing and therefore is fixed. The rear portion of the shaft takes up the up and down movement of the rear axle. So here are the individual components. A seven and a quarter inch diameter gear that came from a 1976 Skidoo snowmobile. The center was machined out to the inside diameter of the drive shaft tube. A custom made collar with a plug that will slide into the tube for welding support and on the other end to accept the end yoke. The end yoke with the U-joint and another end yoke gets bolted to the drive shaft adapter which then slides onto the output shaft of the R1. The electric motor is a three and a half horsepower SVC high torque starter motor that I've built a custom bracket for which can be adjusted in all three directions so that the Bendix and the gear can engage properly. I TIG welded everything to keep the distortion low and the run out between the gear and the vertical plane and the drive shaft and the horizontal plane is less than 9 thou on either end. The electric motor is wired directly to the battery and can be activated with a cutoff switch and a push button while the engine is in neutral. Here are a couple of demonstrations. All right, here we are. We're going to try the reverse for demonstration purposes. Addy is the camera person. All right, power is on. Everything clear behind us. And here we go. Are you ready, Addy? <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> Good job, love. The total cost was about $150. Thanks very much for watching.